Hey everyone, this is Phil, and I'm here filming on a new desk. You might even call it a, a cube desk. Should uh, check out the link in the description, fantastic timer. Anyways, we're here to talk about the more try 3x3s. We received these samples very recently and we're surprised to learn that there are four different versions of this 3x3. So we'll learn about how these work, what the differences are. Let's check it out. So here we are, we have four different versions and fortunately I can read Chinese so I can tell what the uh, the bag says. So this is, uh, it says dan right here, which means single. This says shuang, which means double. This is san and this is chao. So san means three, chao means like super. So we have from order of magnet magnetedness, single, double, triple and super. So. I guess what we'll do is we'll start with the simplest form of the cube and work our way up. Let's open the single one first. I can't wait to unbox the other ones because uh, the box looks looks pretty sweet. It's a very high quality box. Ah, this is giving me like Valk three box vibes. Like, bruh, come on. Bruh. I'll just like stretch it out on the sides like this. See if it comes out. Yes, okay, all right. Fantastic. So this is the cube. Got some accessories. Let's take. <sighs> this cube out and then this is just the packaging. All right, so here we are. We have the cube and we have the accessories pack. Oh, it has lube all over it. Okay, first turns, let's give it a try. Very interesting. So this designer is associated with YJ or was associated with YJ. You can tell this type of plastic and its texture really similar to, to YJ. Let's take it apart and see what it's about. Okay, so that's a YJ style core. It's a very simple mechanism. It has this texture here. There is a opportunity to put magnets in these corner bases, which is something that cubes have been doing more and more lately. So there's textures all over the piece. Nothing looks adjustable so far. Let's get into it here. Okay, all right, so that's a screw with an elasticity adjustment feature. So basically this is a simple magnetic three by three with adjustable elasticity. It would be, I guess, similar to the RS3M uh, in terms of features. Just lube everywhere on my hands now. Yeah, so one thing I noticed is that the magnets are really strong and I overturn a lot. I don't know if I like this, probably not. Let's take a look at these accessories. Ooh, this is a really nice screwdriver. This is a pamphlet. Let's see how their English is. After the letters means turn, coca brackets means a series of movements. Okay, yeah, this English looks like uh, someone familiar with English took a look at it. What is this? Anti-fog lens wipe, deionized water. It's like a disinfecting wipe. I guess I'm gonna wipe the cube. It's like they know that the cube has lube on it, so they give you a wipe, how about Save the money on the wipe and don't over loop the cube. I don't know. So one thing that I need to mention is that this logo is absolutely beautiful. It's like on the centerpiece itself. More try if you want people to use your cube for blind, definitely provide another logo because this cube is not legal for blind. So back to the cube, I think the magnets are really, really strong, probably strong to the point where I don't enjoy turning it, but maybe if I adjust the elasticity down, it'll feel better. It won't get rid of the strong magnets, but at least it'll, uh, it'll help with the overturning. Hey guys, this is Phil here to remind you to like and subscribe. Don't forget to click the notification bell to be reminded when we upload. We also stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Twitch, so come hang out anytime. Now let's get back to the video. All right, now let's move on to the double magnet edition. Okay, much better luck here. <laughs> the magnets are so strong, wow. So what's the deal with these double magnets? Where, where are these double magnets? Oh, okay. Yeah, as you can see, they're tiny magnets underneath here, that's the double magnet scheme. So now, what is the difference between the double magnet and the single magnet? Like, is there any physical difference? Yes, okay, okay. So the single magnets have an orange ring around the magnets and the double magnets have a purple one. So you can check which edition you have by the color of the magnets. It would be cool if they had a different color logo, but at the same time, this is their company logo. So I feel a little more control in this cube, but I don't know if it's in my head. I know 
One thing we're gonna do is invite people to do a blind test to see if they can tell the difference between the single, double, triple, and super magnet one. All right, so this this fancy box, let's open this guy. All right, so this this is gonna be one heck of a, an unboxing experience because just from the outside, you can kind of tell how this box comes apart and it just wants you to open it. It's really cool. Okay, that was cool. Then you have this thing. This, this is a cool unboxing experience. I'm liking this. Okay, so this is this is the same thing. Tip to more try. You know, I'm obviously not a cube designer, but I know my way around a business. You want to include something in your packaging, like a pamphlet that tells you the difference between these cubes, because ideally you want to like cross sale them, right? Like. If, the, if a person likes the, one of the cubes, you wanna convince them to buy another version of the cube because that's why you released four of them, right? So if you have the opportunity to put a little pamphlet to just sell people the cube or just explain what the differences are, I think that would help you a lot. Okay, so what color magnets does this have? Blue, okay. It's so strong. This is actually crazy how strong it is. I don't know if you can hear this. Okay, so where are these triple magnets at? Where are you at? It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Oh, I f***ed up. <laughs> Should I not have opened this? Is it just like disintegrating? Yeah, it just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need, I need a little assistance. All right, so I put it in. Can you put the blue cap on top? Oh no. More wait, try. You, wait, what? That's how it's supposed to work? Ah! More try. W what are you doing? More try. No. Deep breaths. <laughs> We're so f Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a there's a little groove here. I found a groove. I know the trick. What are you... Why? Oh, no. Can I try? Yeah. Do I just shove it in like this? <laughs> no. All right. You do that. I'm going to try to figure out where, where this triple magnet thing is coming from. Like... Why do they call it triple magnet? I'm back guys. I have to say yeah, I regret yeah. ever taking these edges apart. I've been trying to get these back together for ages. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I took a look around. I can't find the more magnets. So I don't really completely understand the whole like triple magnet angle. So I'm gonna go to the double and I'm gonna pull the pieces from there and try to understand what the differences are. Yeah, maybe these feet magnets are stronger. More try? If you're trying to sell more of your product, definitely explain the differences between these cubes somewhere on the box, in the packaging, or make it obvious on the cube. So, yeah, I can't obviously tell what the difference is between this puzzle and the other puzzles. This is the last one. This is the Chao variant, which is super. Chao is the word for super. So in, in Chinese, uh, the word for Superman, they say Chao Ren, superhuman. What do we have here? What color do you think the magnets are? Maybe green? Green seems like a pretty cool color. Okay, what color are you? Green! Oh my goodness, I'm such a genius. So I wonder what this feels like. Let's find out. <laughs> it's so similar to the, to the triple, like what the heck? Bruh. All right, I can't tell the difference. Like there's no obvious difference here. Okay, I'm actually kind of at a loss for words. There is no huge substantial difference between this one and the last one. At least, like, this feels more magnetic. I'm not even sure that's a good thing because the magnets are so strong and you can't adjust them. So one thing we discovered in the process of unboxing this cube was that this super version actually has maglev. This is similar to how Moyu expresses their maglev, which is a magnet on top of another magnet opposing. And that can be found inside the cube with the green components and green magnets. So the super version 
is maglev and that's something we didn't immediately notice but it's different okay so let's compare the the least magnetic one versus the most magnetic one Okay, the difference between the least magnetic one and the most magnetic one is clear, but then when you go in the middle, when you compare like two and three and then three and four, the difference isn't that obvious. This brings me to a point about product design that I really want to talk about. I hope it's not offensive. Like the whole idea of releasing four different versions of the same cube is silly. We're in a, in a time period where it's commonplace for nice cubes to be adjustable. You have stuff by Gan, Moyu, Chi'i, YJ, literally every company that takes speed cubing seriously has some form of adjustability on magnets. I, I think it it's kind of weird to have this cube not be adjustable, and it feels like sickly ironic that the company's name is Mortry, as if it wants you to like try more of their cubes instead of just being able to adjust one of them. Yeah, I just don't know what to say about this cube other than the magnets are incredibly strong. The cube is incredibly fast. Let's, why don't we adjust the elasticity to see if that helps. Can I do this manually? Oh, I can, okay. Okay, let's do four clicks. So this is definitely YJ Tech. Okay, it is a little better. Ooh, the M slice swings so fast. I can do an M2 with a single flick. Wait a second. Does that mean my H perm is better? <laughs> Wait, you've never seen that finger trick before. So now we're gonna do a fun little experiment. We're going to call some cubers in our office over here and try to get them to differentiate these cubes blindfolded. So essentially there's one cube that has no feet magnets and one cube that has maglev and the other two appear to have just piece magnets and feet magnets of different strength. So we're going to try to see if people can really tell which cube is which cube. It's gonna be fun and it might be a little embarrassing. Who knows, let's give it a try. All right, well I'm going first. Yeah, just blindfold on, I'll mix up the cubes. Okay. Does that look right? Yeah. Okay. Can you see? No. Then it's working. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Got to establish a baseline. This doesn't feel too strong. Okay. That definitely feels stronger. Okay. This one, this one feels more clicky and faster. So I'm leaning towards this one being the maglev one. Oh my, okay, this one feels the same as these two. <laughs> All right, I like the order they're in right now. I think this is no feet. This is two, three, maglev. The no feet should have orange magnets. <laughs> okay, this is purple. <laughs> it's purple, okay. So that should be purple. Okay, this one's orange. Okay, so those are flipped. And that, that one should be blue. Yeah, this one's blue. Okay. And this green. this one's green. Okay, great. Okay. So you actually got two of them correct and two of them swapped. So this one doesn't have the feet magnets and this one does. But yeah, they feel like the same. Knowing that one of them has maglev, like I think it's pretty easy to tell which one because it, there's one that's like clearly faster than the rest. All right, not too bad. Okay. This is really hard to tell. Nothing jumps out as obviously what I think it is. So I'm gonna have to try them again. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, so this is the order I have them in from least magnetic to most magnetic. So this one, if I'm right, should be orange. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's orange. Okay. This one, if I'm right, should be what? Purple. purple? Yep. It's blue. Okay, and then this one's purple. Okay. And this one's green. Yep. So I got these two right, but then these two swapped. Okay. So yeah, very similar. Yeah, honestly, I, I think like this was dumb luck. Like yeah. I feel actually very proud of myself for guessing, which is really strange because I expect a person to be able to know, right? Cool. Fascinating. Great. All right, David, you ready? I'm ready. 
Okay. Oh no. So which one's the maglev on terms of one through four? Maglev is four. Okay, I don't think it's right, but I'm going with this order. So the first one should have orange magnets. No. What do you get? I don't know. Purple. Purple, mm. okay. So the second one should have purple. The well, one has orange. Orange, mm. so those are flipped. Yeah. Uh, the third one should have blue. Hey, we got one. Okay, and then the last one should have mag. Uh, Green. Okay, great. So you got all of them right, except you flipped one and two, which is the same result as Jesse. Yep. Cool. Yeah, I flipped the, the middle two. Yeah, I mean, this one I kind of told by weight, because yeah, I knew it was maglev. Uh -huh. And then, yeah, these are, they're all so similar that they're all just so exceedingly strong that it's tough to tell. But yeah, try less. <laughs> There you go. What? What? That was just napping here. Oh. Oh, okay. What am I doing? Uh, you are trying to differentiate the cubes. Okay. So you're ordering them from least magnetic to most magnetic. Okay. Uh, least magnetic goes on the left. Gotcha. And they're, they're here. Yep. Lovely. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's so bright. All right, so what am I, what, what's the order? So the one on the very left should have orange magnets. It has purple. Okay, uh, number two should be purple. It has green. Okay, <laughs> number three is blue. It is blue. Okay, you got one. Oh, the yes! <laughs> and that one's supposed to be green. Okay, cool. So I mixed up these two. Yeah, so the green one is the magnet. Actually, I mixed up everything but one. So I guess you really shouldn't trust me with cube recommendations. <laughs> <laughs> or it's just a testament to how much more they should try. <laughs> so the idea is just rank them from least to most magnetic. Okay. And uh, so S is the maglev. All right. Go for it. All right. So. This can be hard. This is definitely lighter. This one feels the least magnetic, so I'm gonna say that's the, the weakest one. So. This feels like, let's just say that's magnetic. Let's say that's, wait, this one feels, well, let's just do this, okay. Number one should have orange. Yep. Okay, okay. Uh, number two should have purple. Yep. Number three is blue. Dude. <laughs> did did I do green. it? I did it. Nice. All right, you're the only one that's gotten it 100%. <laughs> These two were kind of luck. I mean, I could barely Yeah, yeah. That, so Phil mixed up the middle two, and I mixed up the first two, and Danny mixed up the first two. Oh, damn. So, yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this series because I think there are way too many cubes and the differences between the cubes aren't super obvious. I obviously, I don't know the price of this. If I had to guess at these prices, I would imagine all of these cubes would be under $20. Now, just, this is gonna be like super cursed. I know it's, I'm gonna be wrong and I'm gonna look like an idiot. Or maybe the manufacturer will, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that's as much as I would pay for this cube because I don't consider it that useful because it's not adjustable and you literally have to more try 
all these cubes in order to get what you want. So in closing, this is our unboxing of the four more try cubes. Uh, I'm sorry to be so negative and critical, but that's just how I feel based on what I'm seeing here. Yeah, thanks for sticking around and watching. Hope you found this uh, video enjoyable. As always, let us know how you feel about these design choices in the comments. I know I said a lot, so it would be great to hear from you. We'll have links in the description to view or buy these uh, if you wanna take a look and uh, we'll put them up as soon as possible. Take care.